Saint Agatha, directed by Darren Lynn Bozeman, starring Sabrina Kern, Carolyn Hennessy, and Courtney Halverson. Pregnant and on the run, young Mary seeks refuge in an isolated convent in small town Georgia in the 1950s. When she discovers the community's dark secrets, Mary must find a way to save herself and her baby before she's trapped there forever. If the name Darren Lynn Bozeman is familiar to you, that's because he was the director of Saw 2, 3, and 4. Going into this, I knew from his history was that this film was going to be really intense, most likely gory, and probably gross out at some point. And this film absolutely delivers. However, don't expect this to be an all-out bloodbath. This is a film that really builds on the characters, their emotions, weaknesses, as well as the paranoia of always being listened to by the nuns. What I really enjoy about this film is the overall tone. It's very melancholy all the way through, and there's this sense of dread as our main protagonist, Mary, approaches the convent. And once she's actually in the convent, you feel the oppression, and Mother Superior is frightening. Because when she first meets our protagonist, she's very calm, cool, collected. But as the movie progresses, she becomes one of the most frightening and believable villains. She's a villain that I would be scared of if I met her in real life. She is absolutely fantastic. This film is also split up between flashbacks and the current. The flashbacks aren't a constant piece of the film, but it does help to create more of that backstory as to why Mary is there. And although some of the flashbacks I find a little too overlong, it does help by creating a fully fleshed out character for Mary, as well as what her intentions were originally to go to this convent. Now, as I said before, this is directed by Darren Lynn Bozeman. When this film goes to the dark side, it really, really gets dark, but it gradually progresses. It's not something that happens quickly. It's super gradual and it's tiny little things at first and it builds and it builds and each time it gets more and more extreme and intense. And throughout the entire film, you're not only rooting for the character of Mary, but you're also rooting for the other pregnant women in this convent because they are truly being terrorized by these nuns and specifically Mother Superior. This is not an easy film to watch. I found myself wincing quite a few times throughout this film because of the intensity, because of how raw it is, and because all of these women besides the nuns are all pregnant and they're all there for their different reasons. Add on to the fact that this is in the 1950s, this is not necessarily a time that was friendly to unwed mothers. That adds in another aspect of these women feeling shame and feeling like they have to hide themselves as well as the nuns continually reminding them of their lack of self-worth. And so this keeps breaking down the girls every single time and it's really hard to watch. The dream sequences that are in this film and, and some of them I question whether or not they are completely dream sequences because the entire film has this almost dreamlike vibe. And that's because the main protagonist is being drugged by the nuns. And so you're seeing it through her lens. Everyone inside of this convent, their worldview is completely distorted because they've been completely cut off from the outside world. St. Agatha is a film that I'd happily add to my collection with a fantastic storyline, a great cast, expert direction, and an unsettling story and tone. I absolutely recommend St. Agatha. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for coming by, and I'll see you all next time.